In this video we start our Titan travel tour of Canada and Alaska and our first stop is Banff. Join us as we explore Banff National Park including Bow Falls, Johnson Canyon and Lake Louise. We also sample some fabulous Banff food and nightlife and Carol has a meltdown on a mountain. Right there, right there, our next adventure started. I'm all excited. Paul is really sleepy because it's nearly four in the morning. It's quarter to four. <laughs> yes. It's no, oh, it's quarter to three, that song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I'm very, very tired. Yes. But we're going to Canada, Alaska. How exciting is that? It's very exciting. What's more exciting is we're being picked up from our door. Yes. So that means I can go to sleep as soon as I get in there. Exactly. So we booked through Dan, obviously our trusty travel agent, and uh, with Titan Travel. So their holidays or tours, etc., include pick up from the door to the airport. So that's a big bonus, isn't it, Pauline? Yes. So, uh, so we're off, so we're let's off. go. We're off. Our Titan Travel Transport arrived promptly and I was asleep before we left the outskirts of Gloucester. We also picked up a lovely couple, Andy and Judy from Swindon, before we arrived safely at Heathrow Airport. After a smooth check-in, we boarded our Air Canada flight. This is our first time with this carrier and we've got to be honest, we were very unimpressed. Rude and miserable staff and food that was well below average. Let's hope this isn't a sign of things to come. It was a relief to arrive at Calgary Airport. We so wish we had our GoPro running, as it would have captured the moment of getting a surprise welcome from one of our Canadian Patreons, Kevin. We're just behind this post here. <laughs> ah, it's our lovely pigeon, Kevin. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see you. That? We didn't expect this at all. <laughs> oh, that's a great surprise, isn't it, Paulie? Okay, shall I check us in? Yes, Be do. So what an awesome surprise that was, wasn't it, with Kevin? Yes, definitely. So now we're on the coach. We've got in about an hour and a half to get to Banff, our next stop. Well, our first stop. Our first stop, yeah. Yes, looking forward to that, aren't we, Paulie? Yes, I haven't got a clue where we're going, what we're doing. Well, it's busy, busy. This is our first tour we've ever done, so it'll be interesting to see how we cope with being busy, busy, but we'll, we'll let you know. So instead of um, Carol constantly telling me what to do, it'd be a, it'd be a tour guide. A lady guide. called Frances yeah. that we've already met. Yeah. In fact, she got on with this in, um, in London. Yeah. So she's going to be with us straight at the tour. So we're... The scenery just got better and better as we headed towards Banff. in Banff our hotel rooms weren't quite ready so the coach dropped us into the centre of town to explore or maybe try a small beverage and the Canadian brew house looked like a good choice. That's okay. <laughs> so my first Caesar which is um, tomato, well it's not, it's clamato, it's got clam juice in it, it and look it's here. Oh my god, tomato. Oh. Cheers. Mm. After admiring the lovely views and spotting our first moose, it was time to jump back on the coach and head to our hotel. Guess where we are? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is our first hotel, the Royal Canadian Lodge. So uh, our bags have already been taken because Porterage is covered within this tour. What's covered, sorry? Porterage. Porterage. Yeah, Porterage. That's just not even real. I said, I said Porterage, didn't I? So your bags are just taken off the coach and they should appear in your room. So let's go and see. I'm not disputing that you said Porterage. I didn't even know Porterage was a thing until about a week ago. I thought it was just a made up word. <laughs> well, it's not. So here we go. Peter and Cream, I've got the right Peter and Cream. Yeah. Linda. 
What's that one? Morgan PNC, that's us. Who are you? So Wetting. there we are. Wetting's so that one's Wetting. Thank you very much. So we're room 221. 221. 221. Yes. Oh, there. How are you doing? We're good, thank you. Well, come on then, Paulie, get the magic card out. Let's see what the Royal Canadian Lodge has to offer. Just hold oh. it over, isn't it? it yes. Let's go in. Uh -huh. going to put, oh my God, it's humongous. Is it? Yeah. Lights, camera, action. It's like the biggest room in the world. Oh wow, look at this. That is big, isn't it? Wowzer. Oh, let me hold the door for Paulie to get all the luggage yeah, in. No, no, don't worry about me, mate. You go off and do your video in. Don't worry about me with the nine suitcase. One, two. Let's just pop them there a minute. Then pop some lights on so we can have a good look around. And we're going to actually do a full tour once we've stayed in here for. We're here for three nights. This is our first stop, as we explained. Um, so let's have a look. This is a. A good size too, isn't it, Paulie? Awesome. Oh wow, that's a low bath, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> but look, so yes, yeah, so that's all right. What do you think, Paulie? Obviously, you've got everything you need. Safe in there, wardrobe. Oh, we do love a safe. Yes, and a big safe, Paul. Oh, two beds, Eddie. You can't, you can't elbow me for snoring. So I got <laughs> my own bed. Two beds. Let's put some lights on then. And uh I've got like a fireplace. Where's the lights? What's that there? There's some lights there. Yeah, look at the fireplace. That's good Paulie, because it's got a uh, thing we can open up the case because we don't want well, just looking, that's, that's not, a fire. So that's not thing. a light, so that might be all the light we've No, got. and let's see, there's aircon because it's so hot. We didn't think we were gonna get hot weather in Banff, but Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look mate. at that view out the window. Wow. <gasps> oh my god. So, our first impressions of Banff is like, oh my god. Can you believe that we're here, Paulie Morgan, after our, our, after, well, our afternoon, well, morning and spit, afternoon. Spit it out. <laughs> we've had longer journeys to get to places. This has been quite a long journey, but yeah. I must admit, we've got here and it's. Um, Fabulous. It's spectacular. The, so scen the scenery yeah. is just like nothing I've ever seen before. So we've got quite a few pla things planned here. We're going to catch up with Kevin again, aren't we? We're yeah, going out for dinner tomorrow. We're off to um, Lake Louise tomorrow. And Paul has booked, so come on, let's do it, a gondola ride up the mountain. Oh, which, my uh, God. Which, in English, we kept thinking, what are we going about the gondola, gondola ride? Gondola, yeah. Go it's a cable car. Yeah. They and call it, it a gondola. Very, very Gondolas in England are something you've um, not swim in, <laughs> something in the water. Yeah, but that's not even in England, that's in Italy. Yeah, but if yeah. you have a gondola yeah. in England. Yeah. So, um, so there you go. So keep watching and see if I freak out at the mountain. But anyway, let's unpack Paulie Morgan. Most definitely. Right then, we're beat, aren't we, Pauline? <laughs> we managed to stay up for about an hour and a half, and we sat there having a bite to eat, thinking, I can't stay awake any longer. We've been at what, 24 hours now? More 20, than that, isn't it? 24 hours and five minutes since our alarm went off um, to get up to oh head to the airport. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I got the remote on me. And, um, yeah. And yes, very, very, very sleepy now. And we went out and had something to eat. And even when we're not sleepy, having something to eat makes us sleep. Is that an old thing? Answers down below. When you have, <laughs> when you've had a nice, when you've got a nice full belly, does it make you feel tired? Yes. But it definitely did with us because we are knackered. Knackered, we are. We got a busy day tomorrow. The alarm's set for eight. I'm so looking forward <laughs> to it. Because we're going on a cable car, and Carol's gonna. Do ploppers in her pants. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good night for now, and we'll catch you in the morning. Good night.
Right then. <laughs> right then. <laughs> so, Paul is up. Um, I'm up. We're ready for our first excursion of our Titan Tour Alaskan Deluxe Voyage. That's what it's called, Polly. It's called the Alaskan Deluxe Voyage and Rocky Mountaineer Tour. So if you're looking to replicate what we're doing, um, that's the official title. Did you know that, Polly? Of course I did, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're our first tour of the um, tour, our first excursion. So we just need to be downstairs for about five to nine. Um, she wants everyone, Francis wants everyone to be prompt because we've lots, got, got lots of stops today. So are you excited, Polly Morgan? I'm absolutely thrilled. <laughs> He's so good in the morning. Isn't he? Yes. What you'll have to, you'll have to excuse me because this is my second morning of the day. So I had my first morning of the day about four o'clock this morning. Yes. And then this is the second morning. So two mornings in one day is just no good to anybody. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. Let's go. We are exploring Banff National Park, and our first stop was Bow Falls. Bow Falls was the setting for the 1953 Marilyn Monroe film The River of No Return. Right then, so we are currently at Johnson's Canyon, part of Banff National Park, and it's absolutely stunning, isn't it, Paulie? Yes, oh my God, if you don't like scenery, don't come to Canada, because yeah. everywhere you look is amazing scenery. It is. We started off the Banff Springs Hotel, uh, which is absolutely spectacular when you see it up close, but as you can see from these photos we're inserting here, you'll see how spectacular it is from the other side of the, of the river too. Yes. It's haunted. The story behind it is a man, killed his wife and children yes. in this room. I think it was 837, but don't quote me on that. And then ever since then, chilling screams were let out in the night Yes. when the lights were off. When the lights came on, bloody handprints on the wall. They got the cleaning crew in, cleaned all the handprints off the wall. As soon as the lights went out and back on again, the handprints were, were back. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a famous hotel where Marilyn Monroe and big stars have stayed. Yeah. It looked quite spectacular, didn't it? Looked it looked amazing. But the whole Banff National Park is just like, you walk in every corner and you're like, wow, isn't it, Paulie? It's just absolutely amazing. We've only been in Canada for less than, well, 24 hours, and we love it. We love it. Yeah. stop and this is going to be well this is one of the reasons i booked this trip we're going to lake louise so let's go there now now if she bigs that up and this rubbish yeah my fault it's carol's fault but i, I think it's going to be a, a it's going to be a banger so we're going to go back to our coach which is just over there uh we've got a fabulous coach driver called cameron i'll try and get a picture he's got this most amazing moustache he's he? got the best moustache in the world he's got the best walrus moustache i've ever seen yes he has and our lovely guide francis we'll talk more about the tour actually because there's 45 of us in our group um and it's only been a day and everyone's just getting on so well we've laughed so much yeah, haven't we good. um but how we will feel after seven days with the same people who knows so uh stay tuned and we'll let you know so we're heading to Lake Louise, and as you can see, so is everyone else. <laughs> the realities of going places which are, are beautiful, there's just coaches and coaches in the car park, and lots of people around. However, what can you say about that, Paulie Morgan? Well, it's, uh, such is life, we've had to, uh, this is right up on, I know there's higher than this, but with, this is quite high up. I think it's about a mile above sea level. Yeah. And we've had to queue for about 20 minutes after yeah. just to get in the car park, but obviously it's beautiful, that's why everybody's coming here. Yes, but look at this. It is packed. And we thought they'd reserved this spot just for us. How wrong were we? <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
I know, just saying. We thought they reserved, <laughs> reserved it for us. <laughs> oh, how beautiful is that? Wow, look at that glacier. That is uh, pretty awesome, isn't it, Pauline? It's not bad, is it? Not bad. Let's see if we can get a better view. I think there's a gap in the wall here, Pauline. So let's go this way. Sorry. So, oh, so I didn't even right. see you. I, I just said, sorry, I'm good. No worries. Oh. <laughs> let's have a look. So this is Lake Louise. And the famous hotel over there, and I've forgotten the name already, Paulie. Do you know? Victoria Lodge, I'm not sure. No. There's a lot of stuff named after Queen Victoria. Yes, it's named after Queen Victoria's daughter. Well, the lake is, not the hotel. But, oh, here we are. So this is Lake Louise. I got a bit of You know what, then I said? Look at that. <laughs> the downside of an escorted tour is that sometimes you don't get as much time at some of the places you visit. We would have loved more time here so we could have explored more of the lake and maybe got away from some of the crowds. However, we have been loving the group we are with and having someone else organise our day is a real plus. Right then, so our last stop of the day is Moraine Lake. So as you can see, there's nobody here either. Yeah, just all of Canada. Yeah, look. Oh, but look at the water behind me. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> oh, the rain's starting. We've just heard a clap of thunder. Where? Oh. <laughs> oh. Moraine Lake gets its blue colours as its glacier fed and is amongst the clearest in the world. Fine rock dust from the glaciers rubbing the bedrock remains suspended in the water creating these unusual colours. Sadly, as it was overcast, we didn't get the full benefit of this effect. Right then, so, quick turn around, quick shower, isn't it, Paulie? Yes. We've got our, our nighttime gear on, look. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> and we're off out for dinner with Kevin, who you would have seen, um, who came to meet us at the airport. So it'll be lovely to spend some more time with him. Yes, we'll spend a bit more a... time and have a chat. Have I got to do that with my leg as well when you do it? Yeah, do you want to do it? <laughs> so yes, yeah, so um, he's down in reception waiting for us. So why are we doing? What are we doing here? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right then, so back to reception, and he should still be sat waiting patiently in the corner. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh. There he is. <laughs> You will have recognised him from the airport. <laughs> We're off to dinner. On Kevin's recommendation, we headed to Salt Lake, a swanky steakhouse found on Bear Street. Right then, so we've arrived at Salt Lake. Yeah, so this is the menu that we've got to pick for tonight, isn't it, Paulie? Have you made your mind up yet? No. Steak. It's all right. It's Alberta beef. Alberta beef. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> good space. Oh. So these are the steaks here. But lots and lots of choice. So the knives have just arrived. And look how big they are. Look at that, Paul. Yeah. Eh? Do you feel like crocodile dinner? That's easy for you to suck. How big is that? Look, I've like even got a big one. Yeah. Ooh. So see. <laughs> Just remember, oh. size isn't everything. Yeah. Is that right, Paul? It's, well, it's how you use that's it. That's what I've heard. <laughs> oh. So the steaks have arrived. Look at my filet mignon. Looks absolutely awesome. Look at the creaminess of the mash, Paul. It's nice and buttery. And look at Paul's. That's a big one, isn't it, Paulie? Now, when do you need a big knife? Yes. 
big knife. Oh, that's a knife. <laughs> and Kevin's got another one over there, look. Same as yours, isn't it, Paul? It's, a, it's an 18 ounce bone in ribeye. Mm. Mm. Smells delicious. It does. We're having cow. Yeah. Thank you. Delicious. Season so well we've got we've got maple Brussels sprouts and they're absolutely divine, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Alberta beef, sir. Awesome. Yes, that's how much I enjoyed my meal. That's absolutely delicious. Paul, what's your thoughts? My thoughts are this was fabulous. Mm. And Kevin, same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yum. So salt lick, if you're in Banff, is a definite hit. So the boys are having pudding, look, so desserts. We've got molten cake. And look at that toffee pudding. That looks that spectacular. Looks, it does look spectacular. Try it then. Oh, they've given me a spoon, look. Yeah. I'll just go. Three spoons. There's too many spoons, mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I haven't taken a photo yet. <gasps> Come on, mate, get with I'm the sorry. program. No, I, thought it was, I thought you'd give me the day off. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky toffee pudding goes well with Guinness. Does it? Yeah, the caramel flavor is here. Um, it's my wine pairing. Yeah. <laughs> Guinness and sticky toffee pudding. Cool, <laughs> man. Is it gooey? You might need that. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh, oh mate, that is Gooville, Arizona. Oh, yeah. No, it's terrible. That is a big twill. See all the syrup on it, can't you? Is that good? Oh. It's okay. Not the way I do it. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, look at you. Oh. oh. It's just like my cake. Oh, wow. Guess I'm the winner then, Kevin, by the way. That is good. <laughs> After a fabulous meal, we finish the night off at the Magpie and Stump, a tacos and tequila bar. But it also does a really good selection of Caesars. So it's Caesar time again. This time I'm having a magpie Caesar, which has got uh, part chili vodka, part vodka, clamato, pickle juice, and pickled bean. Pickled bean. Bean. But it's not bean as we know it, look. Show me the bean. It's a, it's a French bean. Oh, where's that? But anyway. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> ah, that's spicy. <laughs> wow. Right then, morning, morning. Morning all. So it's an early call, half past seven it is, because we've got to get the bus to go on the gondola. Oh, let me read you. I get, we've got all our information about the gondola here. It's a. It's not an included excursion. We paid extra. I think it was about eighty dollars, wasn't it, per person, Canadian dollars. Um, I don't know why I've paid that really because I don't really want to do it. Because listen to this. For those that don't know or are new to our channel, I'm not very good with heights. <laughs> so, the bank gondola, the only gondola in the world with two ropes. It looks like a bucket, doesn't it? A metal bucket on well, two I tried, strings. I tried to encourage Carol by saying, I don't know how many cables you use on a cable car, so maybe there's only one, and this one's got two. I've got a feeling that's not the case, and there's probably most of you usually got four, but you know. But anyway, it's an eight minute ride to the top of the Sulphur Mountain in a four person, fully closed, glass enclosed cabin. Cabin, they're calling Sounds it. Sounds lovely. You know, I might get breakfast delivered to the cabin. <laughs> exactly. So, a spectacular view and picture taking opportunity. Wait at the top of the 2,281 metre or 7,486 foot mountain. OMG. It's only about the height of our house, I think. I don't think it is. So, um, so anyway. Let's go. Let's go. I just hope I don't have a panic attack because this is going to be really oh, embarrassing. Mate. She's been jabbering since I got up about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> she's been jabbering to me like somebody who's had 9,000 cups of coffee. Well, I've been awake since about half past five worrying about it. Yes. We're here 
Did you notice how unenthusiastic that was? Yeah. But I want to show you the car park and the view. Look at this view over here. How amazing is that? And I keep looking that way. Look at the mountain range. It's amazing. But this is the Banff Gondola. And that's where we're going up there. Oh, my God. And the, as you can see, they're little um, four-seater cabins, they call them, don't they, Paulie? Which are all enclosed, which is a good thing. And you can open the window by the looks, and you can see... They're quite fast as well. They do quite fast. It's eight minutes. And I'm thinking, oh, Lordy. Oh, my God, here we go. Look. Oh, we're in number 39. Hello there. We're good, thanks. England. Yeah, there's a big group of us. Oh, Yeah. I want to face towards the mountain, so I want to sit on the left then, is you it? Want to be, yeah, yeah on the side, left, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my god. Cheers, thank you. I'll put myself by the window so okay, I can yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Woo. Right. Deep breaths. Where's the seatbelt? <laughs> there's, seat, there's no seatbelt. Can you leave that open, that door? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go, uh, thanks. Oh. There you go. Thank oh you. no, don't do that. No, he is, yeah. No, he's no, not. He's not. <laughs> oh, don't. Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, we're a little bit scared, aren't we? We are a bit, yeah. But these boys are very brave. But we're no help at all. No, exactly that. <laughs> right, this is where the sunglasses go on. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Right. It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Oh shit. Just remember, you're videoing, so if you could cut the language out, please. So, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who these people are. I don't know how we've ended up with these two. Oh, wow, look at that, then. Beautiful. Oh, I'm glad I'm facing this way. So you're a son good for her, love, because she's yeah. trying to keep a new calm, yeah. so she's yeah. not thinking yeah. about it herself. Yeah, that's true. We're no help at all, because no. we don't care. We just think it's funny. I haven't even looked at the view yet, because I'm just looking at you two. <laughs> it's quite you a bit. conquered a fear. I don't think I have. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. <gasps> You see that hotel? Oh, oh that's a good it's thing, right, mate, because we're nearly right. there. It's okay, it's okay. You realise how big that hotel is? Yeah, it's massive, there. isn't it? Yeah. But even from here, the colour of that water looks amazing. Yeah, it does. I bet it's great when it's snowy. Well, Kevin was saying last night, the guy. We're there, we did just it. feel a little tiny bump in a second and then it's done. Yeah, but it's like done. 20 seconds away, mate. But, yeah, One tiny bump. There. Too bad, was that? We did it. Well, well done. done. Well done. Oh my god. I tell you what, you should have seen them bears that we no. saw. Oh, <laughs> did oh. you not see them? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have you Oh. Thank you for that. Well, Thank you. Well done, well done you. Well done. Welcome to our mountain top. We're that high. I think we might have to take this to the side, Paul, because I don't think I can do it. Right then, I've had to take over filming duties because Carol's had a bit of a panic attack. Which, uh, i got to be honest, I'm amazed she's done it anyway, but fair play to her. But she's just taking, uh, she's taking five minutes to gather her thoughts. But we're now right at the top. And this is where we come from. So if you don't like how it's like how you can understand why um why she's gonna get the pick. But to say the views are spectacular would be a massive understatement. How are you feeling? Can't do it. Can't do what? Don't move. <laughs> After prying Carol's feet off the floor, I took her inside for a very expensive coffee and cookie. I then persuaded her to venture back outside to take in some of the fabulous views. And she even made a new friend. After one last pep talk, I managed to get Carol back in the gondola to head back down the mountain.
right. So I'll be fine, Paul, won't I? Yeah, you'll be fine, mate. I just need to just close my eyes now. Yeah. Well, that's the turbo, mate. Right, just keep them closed. So they're coming up if there's more to see. Because that over there is okay, fantastic. I, I know you can't, but it's fantastic, mate. The views over there. So it's all like the river, yeah. Well, Will you do, do it? Well, I, I can just breathe. See, so anybody, anybody who says, anybody who says that a man can't multitask, look at this. Video in over there, video in here, video in over there. We're going over bumps. Tell me why we're going over bumps. No, no bumps at that. Bump in about five seconds. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Was that a new language you were speaking of? Oh, oh, yeah. Let me know when we get back to the forest. What forest are these? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a while, yeah. Oh. It's going to be about another 12 days. <laughs> When you say she's going on a gondola ride again, unless it's in Venice, Paulie, I'm going to tell you to go away. That was a lot more polite than I anticipated. Yeah. <sighs> Isn't it peaceful? It is lovely and peaceful, yeah. but I just... Um, you're, doing, you're doing 50 times better than going out, mate, honestly. Okay. I'll just keep my eyes closed. Yeah. It makes me feel physically sick. Yeah, but you look... I'm better coming so down. So much better coming down. Oh, that's horrible. And I think we've only got... One more bump, bump before the before we finish. Oh, oh! Thank God for that. Welcome home, honey. Never doing that again, ever. I did it. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Zuta. <laughs> Zuta law. oh my gosh! Don't forget the. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, we're back down. We got back to the hotel and my little bun is a bit traumatised and had to go to see Mr. Peepers. So, um, I feel so much better. I felt pretty ill after that, didn't I? Um, I thought I'd try it, get over my fear of heights, but I've now realised that I hate heights and trying to get over the fear of them just doesn't do me any good. So I shan't be doing that again. This is me for the rest of my life. I won't be going to put another mountain. But you've got, I think now you've got the fear of the fear of heights as well. Yeah, just bizarre. the thought of it. I have to say, um, until you witness somebody getting into a pickle over a phobia, you can almost find it, oh, well, it'd be a bit funny, won't it? And I must admit, I was being a bit flippant earlier because it's a while since I've seen Carol um, get into such a state, to be honest. But when we were going up in that um, in yeah. the old bucket, as she called it earlier, I mean, the views were absolutely spectacular. We were with a lovely couple, Alan and Anne, who, and Anne. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for helping Anne me. Anne was fantastic. Yeah, because Anne had a phobia of heights, but she was more worried about me, wasn't she? Look after me, which helped her, but... She, oh, yeah, she was so busy mad, looking after it? Carol, it sort of did her, it's almost just, did her a favour. you know, it's like you're irrational, it's like you're, you know that you're safe, but it's like your unrational part of your brain just takes over, it's bizarre. So anyone that's got phobias, I totally get it, because that was just so yeah. awful. We've got no advice for you on how to... Well, just don't do it. <laughs> I think that's my advice. Well, but are. anyway, we're ready to rock again. Kevin's come back from uh, is coming back from Calgary to meet us again because tonight um, we were recommended a restaurant called the Grizzly House. Now it, this is supposed to be quite a, a unique experience with some very very interesting things on the menu. So that's what we're going to go do now. We're going to walk down to downtown Banff again, which is about fifteen minutes from our hotel, the Canadian Lodge, and we will um, show you. I'm a bit we'll scared let, of that, actually. We'll let you know how we get on. We've met the lovely Kevin again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And today yeah. we're going to the Grizzly House, which is just here. Four. Yes. Now, it's supposed to be, as we said earlier, it's supposed to be very interesting. So let's go in and find out what it's all about. Hopefully it won't be too grizzly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Yeah, because they want to have 
Oh wow, stop. Thank you very much. Ooh, at least we've got some lights. We can see what we're doing. See in the dark. Yeah. So it's a fondue. Well, they do all different things, don't they? Yeah. Smoked trout sausage. Bundefleisch. And here they've got hunter fondue, beef and lobster, exotic fondue. Oh my god, look at that. You've got alligator, rattlesnake, ostrich, frog's legs, buffalo, venison, and daily exotic fish. So that's what you're having, huh? <laughs> ah, frog's legs. You gotta have the frog's legs. Or you can just have rattlesnake there. Oh my god, no, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's Tastes gonna like be. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like. <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. So we've gone for the French onion soup to start and it looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it, Paul? It does. <laughs> oh, that's good. John would love this. Your dad loves French onion soup. Very, very good. So this is Gruyere cheese. Gruyere cheese. Kirsch. Kirsch. Yeah. And then there's Amental. garlic and some bread. Yeah. Oh, he's gone big. Oh my god, that looks, that's going to burn your head off. Ooh. Is that good? That is good. I'm a bit scared now. Is that good? It's the cheesy future. Is it? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> That's just so good, isn't it? Who'd have thought? Bread and cheese and a funny fork. <laughs> Amazing. The Alberta is alphabetical straight across as you're looking at it, okay? It is beef, buffalo, elk, and venison. Okay? Ooh. These are your dipping sauces. Mm. Oh. So on your left, you have onion, soy bacon sauce. Okay. Spicy tomato and jalapeno, number two. Dijon and horseradish. And honey garlic on the right. Yeah. Sweet sour teriyaki are the two in the middle. Okay. So when you're cooking on the stove, it's one to two minutes for rare, three to four minutes for medium, five to six minutes for well done. The chicken's got to be well done. Medium yeah. and the prawns is usually pretty good. Okay. Get both sides of everything. Garlic butter keeps things from sticking to the rock. Adds a bit of flavor. Helps you smell like me later on. Yeah. <laughs> we're all good it is 600 degrees. It's good for 15 to 20 minutes. Try your best not to touch it with your fingers. Your yeah. Sizzle, sizzle. Yummy. Mm. You have to wash the legs. Sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They've been talking about Ted Lasso. Go for it, Paul. Yeah. We're having the Ted Lasso conversation where Roy Kent refuses to use a whistle, so when it's time to whistle, he goes, Whistle! <laughs> but obviously, this is Sizzle! <laughs> whistle! <laughs> oh. So, so far, the version is Kevin in it is delicious. Absolutely delicious. It is mm. awesome. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. The sexies. Mm. <laughs> That's so he's good. He's in heaven. Yeah, in heaven. The cool he's going. Me and the sexies. Remember, it's the sexies. Terrible. I wasn't really sure about this. I might have to try another one. That was delish. Carol said after our meat selection, she couldn't eat another thing. Oh my god. Mm. Is the chocolate really hot? No. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Seems like you weren't full up after Ooh, all. No. <laughs> That's delicious, isn't it? So the verdict with the Grizzly House is that if you like trying different types of meats, like trying different types of fondues, it's been great, hasn't it, Paul? Eh? Come hungry, don't, because it's so much food, isn't it, Paul? Well, it's a sort of uh, sneaks up on you so much food, because it doesn't look, look a lot, mm. but 
we're really struggling now. Yeah. I'm disappointed I didn't try any snake. Are you? Yeah. It's not too late. Oh, it's not, yeah. Have some more some chocolate. God, chocolate snake. But no, so if you are in Banff, it is definitely worth checking out. Right then. <laughs> Hi. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. So. Sorry, I got a bit excited. You That's did. the first time I got right then in first. Yes. For about 35 years. Well, we are just in from another fabulous night out with Kevin. And we just wanted to give a big shout out to Kevin, who's one of our patrons who's met us, who met us at the airport, who surprised us there. Um, we met for a lovely meal last night, and tonight we've been for another fantastic meal and a great fun night out. We have um, indeed. So I just want to say thanks, Kevin, for taking the time to come see us because he came from Calgary, so it's been an hour's drive away. And you know when you meet people, in your life that you think oh my god you've just got so much in common we've just laughed so much haven't we so it's been absolutely fantastic we've laughed like a couple of silly school girls haven't we, we have. so thanks again kevin uh, it's been a blast um banff we found another pub tonight so if you're in banff it's called the rose and crown and every night at 10 o'clock they have live music the frustrating thing is we've got an early start tomorrow part of our tour yeah the music didn't start till 10. Yeah. I so wish it had started about 8. Yeah. Because it was fabulous and it was the atmosphere and there was great. It was. It was all going on and we've had to come away. Yeah. Because we have to go to Peeper Town. We do. Because we've got another early start in the morning because tomorrow we head to Jasper, which we're really excited about. Yeah. We've heard, well, Kevin was saying that it's, it's like Banff, but not so many people, not so commercialised, and it's a sort of stepping back in time. So, uh, yes. So we've had a fantastic time on this tour so far, aren't we, Paulie? It's been brilliant. Day three finished. Day four tomorrow. So um, we'll let you know how we get on. For more of our Canadian adventure, watch our Jasper and Rocky Mountaineer videos next.